Okay, so not having it back with a new game that I'm playing right now. This is Section 8, Prejudice. This is the sequel to last year's Section 8, a game which was downloadable. Is it downloadable only? I think it was. I don't know. I downloaded it, and I played it, and I loved it, and I was eagerly awaiting for this game to be released. It just came out on PS3. Uh, well, it just came out on PS3 for me because I just downloaded it. And when I saw that it was available, I immediately bought it. It was fifteen dollars. It's not that much. It's not going to break a, the bank. It's not a sixty-dollar game, but you get way more than you paid for. <clears throat> Excuse me. This game is worth at least sixty dollars, just like any other game. It's amazing. I like this. I like the online part. I used to play online back in the first Section 8 a lot. Uh, it's unique. The game itself is, it stands alone. It's one of the best downloadable games that I've played in a while. Uh, I mean, I can't really say enough about this game. The way that they, they have to spawn is... They have two modes. You can spawn by squad mate or you can free spawn, which means you basically pick where you want to be spawned. You, you have the little mini map, and I'm sure you saw it at the beginning, and you just pick where you want to spawn. And they'll shoot you down into the battlefield, and then once you land, Control you're ready to go. Amazing. This gun that I'm using is an assault rifle. The sight is, I don't know, it, it's a pretty good sight, I will say that. And you can see that the recoil is manageable. It's almost, you know, not even, not even there. I like that. That's cool. Everything is fine with that. Hip firing works well. I start hip firing later on. That works great. This game is really, really put together well. The graphics are great. The atmosphere is great. Now, I'm sure it would be much better online it, compared to this, but even this, this is fun. This is fun. I really could do this all day. This is, this is different than a Black Ops where, you know, the, the dummies just walk around and if you put it on a lower difficulty level, they have to stand there and they stare at you for three seconds before they start shooting. No, the computer enemies in this game move around and they play just like somebody would online. Similar to somebody online. I'm not gonna say exactly, but it's, it's similar. It's realistic, somewhat realistic. So it gives you a nice, a nice idea of what you go against online so that when you actually play online, You'll be you'll be prepared for what you're gonna see. As you can see right there, I spawned right behind that enemy because I saw him on the map, and I knew that I could spawn that right there behind him and get an easy kill, and that's what I did. The spawning is is it's really good. I like that idea. I do like that idea. This game it takes. I, I I've noticed that it takes little cues from games like Halo, and incorporates it into its own you know with the body suit and everything and that's fine it was a good idea they incorporated it and made it to where it works for this game and it's not cheesy and I really appreciate them for doing that but enough of this game this game is great if you see it pick it up and play it it is awesome you won't be you won't, what, what was I going to say? You won't be disappointed. That's what I was going to say. But anyway, uh, my YouTube page is coming along just fine. I picked up some more subscribers, and I really appreciate that. If I haven't gone on your page and personally thank you for subscribing, I will do that before the end of the week. I watch my YouTube channel like a hawk every day. I'm constantly scrubbing it, checking, you know, view count, and... Seeing if anybody commented, if I picked up any new subscribers, if anybody liked my videos, if my tags are good, because I really take this seriously. I don't want to half-ass do this YouTube thing. Video gaming is a hobby for me, and I figured that I should share it with the rest of the world, and I put my thoughts into video games to let people know what I think of it. 
I don't consider myself to be a, a professional gamer, not by any means. I'm just a normal guy who likes to play video games, and I like to share my thoughts on the video games with the rest of the world. And for the people who have subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate that. And if you really like my videos, please take time to like them and comment and subscribe. Uh, well, not well, you already subscribed, but spread the word because I want to share with um, as much people as possible. I want to do at least, I, I think I'm going to work my way up to five videos a week. I might do, you know, five videos during the week and maybe take the weekend off or I'll split it up. It all depends. I'm going to have some more Call of Duty coming up. I played some games on Black Ops and that's, that's pretty much what's coming up. This is about over. Uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word, please. Thank you all. I'm not having it, and I'm out.